power-ups is the best tool to compare different versions of reports and models in both tabular and visual formats. To compare two files, we'll come up to the Compare tab up here at the top, which will give us the option to compare two different items. Select to Compare will give us an option to either have a recent items in the list, as well as an option to add a file from both our recent files list or an option to upload any of the file formats as well. We already have AdventureWorks version 1 selected in the source. In the destination, we're going to come up, select Add a File, and compare AdventureWorks Sales version 2 and select Connect. And as well, if you want to swap the order of them, you have the option in here to reverse the direction of which will be compared from and to. Let's go ahead and select Compare. And starting from this first page, let's highlight the three different ways that we can see what's been added, removed, or modified. These first two rows show that both of these pages exist in both of them and have been modified. These next four rows show that there have been four different pages that have been removed. And finally, at the bottom, there are two additional pages that have been added in the version two of the file. And a unique feature of the PowerOps app is the fact that it also breaks down even the visual configurations on any particular report page. At the top here, we can see that both copies of the file contain a map visual with the visual title of order quantity by reseller country. Previously, it had been sorted by order quantity descending, and you can see over on the right where the status has been modified where that sort order has been removed, and vice versa for the area chart, a sort order is now being applied where it has previously not been applied in the previous version of the file. So any visual level configurations, formatting, or changes is captured by this tool. And at the top, you'll get a list of summary icons which will show you at the report level what has been modified, removed, or added. And below the report level, you have subsections for pages, visuals, custom visuals, filters, and sync slicers. There's a similar pattern followed for the data model section as well for all of the data model attributes any of the DAX measures, any of the Power Query M queries as well, plus any of the information around the file itself, including name and other attributes. Coming over to the data model section and reviewing the tables, if we turn off show only differences, for any of these sections we'll actually be given an entire list of all attributes between both files instead of just highlighting only the changed items. Additionally, many of these views will actually have an option to switch between table view or a model view as well, which will mirror what the model view looks like in Power BI Desktop, even including a properties pane, which will allow you to select any of these items to see additional information about that particular attribute of the model. Closing out of this and coming over to the DAX section, as you're comparing any of these, you do have the option to be able to come over and select copy to clipboard or copy formatted to clipboard, which will let you copy out and extract any of the measures and the logic that was written inside of the code. Plus, when hovering over the expression itself, you'll get a tooltip which will show the entire body of code for that measure. Highlighting some of the items in the M queries section, we can actually expand out any one of these queries, and when we open it up, we're given the full body of M code that has also been formatted, plus it highlights what lines of code have been changed within this query. Closing out of this, and similar to the DAX measures, we have two options to copy the raw code or the formatted M code as well. And last but not least, showing the info section again, with the show only differences unchecked, you can see all of the attributes that are actually listed in here, but again, highlighting just the things that have been changed. Hopefully this video helps, and as always, visit powerops.app to learn more.